as we are live. It's been a minute since I've seen Food Command. I know he's been getting into the role a lot more lately. Oh, optical flu? Um, and then, uh, you know, Alpha Guido. I think he, I think he's newer, but he's probably got more experience than, since because I've been gone for a hot minute. Yeah. In case y'all uh, didn't know. Yeah, um, Alpha Guido is one of our newer uh, commands. Go, gone through our command training, sort of. What we're not allowing all, everybody to command anymore, so we actually have yeah, the the potential commanders get shattered a couple of uh, sessions, and then they get to do their their free uh, their sessions on their own, and while while they're still being shadowed and watched. And uh, then eventually they, they are commanders. And it sort of slowed down the process of, of having that, you know, having everybody commanded when uh, they really dictate the, the pace of the game for you. So, they could be north. so this operation Shockwave, as you see, they have two uh, MRAPs. This is what the U.S. have to uh, complete their objective. Let's go ahead and go over their kits. Uh, they are assaulting the militia forces. They have... First squad, one squad lead, two fire team leads, two automatic riflemen, and one medic. For the platoon armor, which the platoon lead can deal out as he sees fit, is four light anti tank kits and four engineers. Um, uh, vehicles allotted to them, two MRAP open top. Speaker, you want to go over militia? Absolutely, militia. They are defending. Each squad has a squad lead and an AR and a medic. Is you can do the it. radio oh, squad, the, way, the HPT, the uh, is oh, okay. in charge of that, a high-value target. That's the squad lead kit for him. He, they also got a sapper, an AR, and a medic. Right, Their platoon there. armory yeah, includes four lats and additional sapper. Yeah, they have a Logi technical, yeah, north, north which west. can take we'll any load. And safe. their FOB gets two HMGs along with fortifications. So pretty similar kits on both sides. Sapper is sort of this our V13 Scout. Oh no. It's um, like a mix Sap between Scout and Engineer. Yeah, mix between the Scout and the Engineer. The they way, so, uh, they sort of said they weren't pleased with the way the Scout was, and they sort of removed it from the game. Uh, I think it was the. But they said it's going to come back. I'm sure. Let's see. Um, I wonder, I wonder what it's gonna look like, the the new scout and the, the way they sort Man, of want it. Man, don't say that. Lots of U.S. contact uh, calls being made now. They're calling the Northern Crucible. Are they added to the Can you give me a parade on those contacts to the east? I'm not sure. Uh, Miyamoto called it out. Northern Crucible. That's a pretty uh, common point. That northwestern point that sort of overlooks the the, the railroad station, or not the station, but the the bridge. Yeah, on top of the hill, and it's it's a fairly pronounced. Ooh, they're opening up. Hey, Vita, you'll be on the south with the uh... U.S. force is still pushing up, yeah, yeah. but some long-range yeah, firefight cool. going on. Engagement range is probably in the like six to seven hundred meter range. They're not really looking to get kills. I'd say more uh, saying keep your heads down. You can't have eyes on us as we're trying to move. Yeah, the name of the game is uh, maneuver, especially since they have to cross another valley to get to where the crucible is. At least the central and the um, the western crucible points. You can hold hold that northern flank. Oh, I Where see them. Yeah, they're up. One fifteen. Oh, you there. fucking don't shoot, don't shoot, don't waste oh. the rock. Well, that's called it. As far as the limitations for the hey, fob on tell militia. Hey, I'm hitting these fuckers. One fifteen. They can watching, move watching, it if they want to. Looks What's, like they oh, haven't. Oh, enemy contacts are in. They're not going the to move it. They're going to defend the it in the crucible Man, area. Nice. So they also oh, get. Oh fuck! Ah! Logistical runs with Good the day. technical. So, Echo Damn, four, three, there. And I actually yes. really like a uh, a crucible hold. It's a really fun area to play around. Um, it's it's defending a hilltop. You play basically get a, a king of the hill match with a, a couple different uh, like not castles but fortresses and three locations. All right, 
And it makes for some interesting uh, mid-range engagements, about that 200, 300 meter range. ARs for both teams open it up at a range, and uh, Squad 1 on US loses their, well this is an A, as they're up here on one of the Crucible locations. They're trying to fire back and just try to pick some, you know, militia off on the the adjacent Crucible. Just take the pop shot. I feel at yeah. one point this op had mortars. This is a lot more I risky. Cool it. Cool it. Stop peeking him off right there. Maybe I'm misthinking yeah, I'm it. I'm thinking of another one. It's a real fun. I, I, I feel think like there's a wrong. lot of... I think there's a lot of people in these fortresses. Like, I'm looking at the, the militia. There's five, six people. Yeah, five people in this little fortress area. And uh, they're putting down a wall of fire preventing any of the uh, blue team from moving in. You know, I so, don't think uh, militia ever really got um, mortars. Or, I'm sorry, I don't think US ever got mortars on this mm, map. Or... Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, so, hey... For yeah. as long as Squad One has been here, um, I'm surprised. You know, obviously, mortar militia doesn't have mortars. They would have definitely used them on this. So, but one thing everyone does have is, you know, trying to find level uh, binox because of the yeah. uh, a lot of binoculars would be there. Yeah, too. ton of binoculars. Big picture uh, movement going on. Let's uh, take a look at Red Team as a pretty standard uh, defense. They got a Red 1 on the north, Red 3 southeast, Red 4 watching their west flank with Red 2 sort of filling in the gaps. Blue team has Blue 2 flanking north with Blue 1 sort of being the line, uh, the, the the wall that's just taking shots at Red team. Blue 4 is really far back on the south and Blue 3 looks like they're trying to maneuver around and hook up with Blue 2. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if either Blue 3 or 4 can get in this fight soon. Right now it's all on I think Blue 2 is about to take some contact here. Yeah, Blue 2 is in a really nice spot. I, I like that. Uh, the Phoenix is probably going to run up on him. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's an outline bug. Sorry, folks. So it's going to be a little harder to see. I hope yeah, it's Lamp not. Yeah, Lampbeans run up the hill. Phoenix is running down it. Phoenix isn't looking down his hill. He's got. Phoenix is looking too far away. Vindication misses his shots onto Phoenix. That was his, that was his chance there, but I don't think Phoenix is a squad lead. Vindication is. I wouldn't... I don't know. Phoenix gets shot in the crossfire from Lima Bean, I believe. Move back. Phoenix down. I don't think he pulled the pin, actually. But this flank is blown now. It's blown, but, you know... They're pushing. Headbuster goes down. Yeah, I imagine how much information uh, Militia got out of that. That was pretty quick. Phoenix is, is actually really good at, at information transference, I guess. Like, I, I'm fairly sure at least him or Head Beast. Maybe not full numbers, but there's, they at least know somebody's coming from this angle. If it gets uh, relayed up the chain, we will see. Blue one, uh, Red one doesn't look like they have anybody else positioned looking at the north besides Nuclear Twister. Otherwise, everybody's looking at red, uh, blue one to their east. Ooh, ooh! I monies and Bobby go down to the same grenade. It looks like. Real pro's gonna have to bandage. Frags out on both. Bobby got lucky, but there's someone down over there for sure. Yeah. Seeing smokes on the hillside now. Ooh, assault's uh, wrapping around the side of the hill here. Yeah, we got. Yeah, assault and flat. Oh, frag takes out real pro. Ooh, nice frag there. Update on kills: three kills for the U.S., eleven for the militia. Militia holding strong on Crucible, not opening any angles up for the U.S. Thirty meters. We're dealing with it. We're holding the northern flank. I think this uh, northern push is pretty much gone. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think it was timed well enough with squad four on the south and squad three that was trying to maneuver around. Maybe they should have waited for blue three to finish their maneuver and hook up and have a stronger push. Or I, blue four, I guess, is long range engagements on the south with their MRAPs, but those MRAPs just aren't doing any work from the south. I, what do you do with them? That's the question. 
I mean, you can't really take them that far off. And it, yeah. To go off road with those things is to basically uh, admit defeat. I feel like you just have to perch them far enough away so that it's difficult to get a light shot on it. Yeah. I think if you're going to be off on a flank, it shouldn't be a, like, a 180 direction. Like 90 degrees off just to get a solid crossfire. And uh, Bybee goes down to shots from Lord Chaka on the fortress. Two, keep their head. Copy. In the top. Down the right, top. They're close east. taking shots from Blue 1 as they make uh, put pressure on the north half of this crucible. Where, where are they, David? If Blue they can hold here. Yeah. Good. I think it'll be close. Wow. Wow. Look at that grenade. Yeah, Evan S. May and Andy May go down to that frag. Wow. Yeah, I think that was thrown from. Uh, oh, that was a GL. Goes down to another frag. Lord Chaka all alone. Delta Dan on the bottom. Oh, Lord Chaka just gets one tap. Delta Dan all alone. Oh, boy. Wow, I thought that was a GL. That was a frag, I guess. Wow. That. They're in frag range, but it very well could have been a grenade. They're pushing in. Really solid push from the blue team as they push in. Unfortunately, yeah, squad three. Serious dent in this uh, fortification here. Of course, Delta Dan stuck. And he goes down to home. Yep. Holmes gets the shot. Yep. Five man clear on the uh, compound. They didn't really even need to. There was nobody in it by the time they cleared, but it was very clean from the blue team. They've got a foothold on this northern crucible. They do have to be worried about red uh, red one on their north now. Pulling off a flank. Three man flank, but a flank nonetheless. Assault and Hawk. Can they get the job done? Oh, and they take shots. Vindication goes down to uh, Assault. All right, cool. This three man, uh, this three man push of uh, yeah. Um, your, your squad's not loading. Red Flash Ninja, just reload or un uninstall all mods for squad, and it should work. Yeah, sorry, I've been neglecting chat. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Operation Shockwave. Ooh, assault doing work here, taking out Metis. That's like his third kill at, on this flank. That may just destroy the northern flank for the U.S. The foothold is strong for them on this uh, crucible. Can you get a brief overview of the op? What is the objective of the op? So the objective for this operation, the militia are... Um, they were stationed here at C Crucible. The U.S. are, uh, are tasked with assaulting them. The militia then have to either hold Crucible strong or dig up the fob and retreat to either quarry or warehouse. The militia have chosen to hold Crucible and uh, ward off the U.S. Kits include the Stapper engineer on either sides, a couple of lats, grenadiers, a couple of MRAPs for the U.S., but it's an attack defense up for the U.S. or for the militia. They are holding crucible from the U.S. This radio. Oh, radio looks being like uh, guarded assault. by Miyamoto. Go ahead. Looks like assaults push. Uh, assault trying to push back up to the crucible building that was taken. Taking some hits. Where are those? Did we hear the 50 cal there? I think we just heard the 50 cal. Yeah, they have a. They have Did an HP deployed at the. Oh, you mean the turret on the. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't the MRAP? Oh, I, I got my hopes up. Did they fix that bug? We'll see. Oh, no. Dave just gets one tapped out of there. Rainbow Six. Last man in his MRAP. 
These MRAPs have just been getting torn apart. Rainbow Six just got out of his MRAP. No, stay in it. Oh, he's bleeding. Don't get in the turret. Uh, these air maps are... I, vehicles are always iffy, in my opinion. Rainbow Six goes down in the turret. Vehicles are always iffy in, in operations. They can either carry it, carry an operation, or they're just, like, totally useless. It's hard to be just okay in vehicles. Well, it's like I was telling some basic, uh, some folks that were taking our basic class, you know, there are certain roles in squad that you are you are the man in yeah if you have anything other than a rifleman kit you're the man if you have a vehicle you're the man vehicles are super important because mobility and that firepower they give and putting the putting the vehicle in a valley is probably not the best idea when you're fighting <laughs> in in May. so maybe it's just a lack of breakdown in communication that happened there and we eventually just saw the uh, the MRAP just sort of get okay. That's correct. Broken right. up here. Uh, militia making a big push on this uh, crystal building that US holds. They're uh, trying to very very carefully pick at. Uh, yeah, really solid hold for or really solid looking push for the militia. Update on kills is 17 for the uh, US, 24 the militia. So the U uh, the US have brought it back a little bit. Militia up slightly, but it is still anybody's game. And it's in the U.S.'s hands, honestly, because they're the ones on, ass on assault. They they have a couple options to get to their next point, which is going to be their final objective, the next Crucible Tower, I guess, because there's, a, what, three? There's three Crucible Towers. U.S. have control of two of them. Look at all the smoke that has been laid out here. And not being used. And you're right. I mean, they're just sitting there. I wonder if it's just like meant to be a distraction, but I don't think they, I don't think militia have a big enough force anywhere other than the map. Oh, frags out. On to, uh, what, which tower is this for the, it's this Crucible North, I think? Yeah. Maybe it, another breakdown in, in communication, because I, Smokes are so hard to time correctly because you have to take into account like billowing, and uh, maybe it just wasn't timed well enough with like, all right, toss your smokes, toss your frags, and then move, kind of thing. But frags are now going out onto uh, this U.S. held crucible tower. Atomic Peach and uh, thanks a bomber just sort of stuck up here. They they peek their head out. They're going to get popped by about you know five to six uh, bullets. They have to prune around to go from, uh, you know, safe place to safe place. Their militia are bounding up. Slowly but surely, they are moving bush to bush. Little rock to little rock. Sectionalism on point for the militia. Almost within grenade range. A few more feet and I think they'll be within grenade range. Push on my here. 19 to 25 that, in Militia's favor. Militia That's a swing them back. Apart. Yeah. That's not an insignificant uh, gap to cover for U.S. All depends on the crew manning the vehicles. I would have the MRAP sit on the hills to watch the rear flank and suppress the hill. I, yeah. There's a fine range for the MRAPs. Like, they're, there's too close where they're getting, you know, getting one tap. Sectionalism is on top of the building. Has a firefight with Gandalf. Sectionalism wins out. Good job, Sectionalism. But there's a fine line with the, the MRAPs where it's too far away to where it's ineffective, just completely out of out of range of anything. Can't do can't do anything. Um, and then there's two close where it's just getting one tap. Sectionalism. Did he drop something and then pull back? Oh, if he's a sapper. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know if I heard. Something. I thought he just bandaged himself because he was hit. Yeah, yeah, he's running maybe. back. Yeah, he's running back. I don't think this is separate, kid. I don't think they get the AK. Anyway, Dorf's covering this. Oh, he looks away. Right hand, right hand, left, 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 right 
sexualism is going to go around the other way, but Dork's covering the front entrance there. He's got this little low wall. And cool, cool GBC sees him. Cole, cold GBC sees him, takes out uh, oh, yeah, yeah. sectionalism. That Dio's guy just took basic today. That's awesome. Twenty-one to twenty-eight. The U.S. are holding like they're not losing by more. They're not extending that gap. They're still down by about six people. Which at this point in the game, near the end game, those six people are, are gonna, you're going to start to feel them. But it's not something the U.S. can't overcome. They are on the offense though. They have to push out of these principal buildings eventually to assault that last point. But it, the the militia seem content and tightening the ga uh, their grasp on these buildings. They're not pushing them exactly. They're staying within, like, just out of frag range or just in range. If they peek out, they get fragged. And as I say that, uh, Total War tosses a frag, and it's just short. What did I say? Just out of frag range. It's going to come down to... I think it's going to come down to D-League. He's got a different position here. D-League and Dor... Because I, I have a sneaking suspicion that these Russians are going to eventually get impatient and run up. Right now they're doing an okay job just sitting here, but I think I think the Russians are a little... Uh, oh. U.S. Command is engaging Russians. And he's running up the hill. Alpha Guido took some pot shots at some Russians here. Got them to look over. And uh, Alpha Guido is, yeah, he's trying to catch up with his squad. He's now caught up with the friendly. Yeah, and that's a uh, medic. Thankfully, it's going to be able to heal him up. Yeah, lawn darts. Putting me in a vehicle to do anything other than a ride is a bad idea. I mean, that's it. That's how it is for some people, Dave. Like, I, helicopters, I never want to fly, ever. Like, I know I would just crash over and over and over again, so I'll, I'd let people who want to put it oh, back here we go. Learn that, do that. Got a U.S. consolidation here. Yeah, I can grab just heard ammo, Guido man. call uh, everyone right. to call him. Let's go grab ammo, go. and then we'll move uh, out. Try to They're going to get to reconsolidate and uh, share yeah, some the the so We got to loop uh, pretty far around this, because we're not sure how many were there. There were like five grenades. So I count five U.S. U.S. Versus one. Where are you sending that team at? About thirteen. I was having them try to Russians. I think I have or, fourteen. Excuse me, militia. Fourteen? Yeah, thirteen, fourteen. It's a, it's a little difficult because of all the admin cams and there's no outlines and it bugs me. The way that they're spread out, though, I mean, if these guys operate operationally, they can they can really do it. Yeah, GBC, cold GBC, and tough can tap get around this flank, and he can sort of do this. What the uh, militia were doing earlier, what assault and his squad were doing on the earlier, we're staying in the low ground in the thick tree cover, and and then um and then push back in from a, a different angle. Just be careful. The Russians are most. Excuse, I I keep saying Russians. The militia are most likely still looking at that tower, believing in. Believing uh, more of the U.S. are going to hold up in that strong cover, so I like the idea of it pushing at least two of their five guys out onto a flank. I'm taking fire. South. Too bad they still haven't changed the admin cam thing, right? Yeah, having the no outlines is annoying. So the best we're going to be able to do is uh, triangles, and even with the triangles, it's going to be like you see the admin cams flying around. U.S. taking some casualties up on the crucible top. And a grenade goes in, and uh, ooh, bullet to finish off. That was uh, lawn darts. That's it for Crucible, isn't it? Atomic and lawn darts were the last two standing. Actually, and command went down along that. There was three guys there. Three of the, three of the five that weren't on the flank go down, leaving Tap and Cole uh, G8 GBC. Last two U.S. standing against about 14 militia. Can they do it?
I mean, it's not like the plan was bad. It, they, the timing was off for U.S. The yeah. timing was off. It came off the wheels when two pushed up early because they found Phoenix. So I guess they thought they were under threat earlier than they anticipated to be. Yeah, that 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 makes uh, sense, and I, I completely agree that it was just your the plan was not bad. Their timing. I mean, I, Phoenix, as far as yeah, I guess Phoenix would would have been that tip off point because that's sort of when they sped up. They sort of cleared out, pushed um, up their their engagement yeah. range. Three was about four hundred meters thought, back yeah, at I that point. Know. I don't even think they were like, and they definitely even if they were uh, being diverted, to go to I don't right. think I think they were us. even like realizing that's what they're going to have to. I think that was a super late call to have three come around. But I, I mean, in the end, back. they were still Tom able to take the top of it. They just didn't two. pivot. No, I only they couldn't had pivot you. next because there was so much cover. Gotcha. There was so much coverage that uh, militia had. Here we go. Nate's coming out. They are assuming that the crucible is. They're assuming that the crucible is um, occupied by enemy. Yeah. Fortunately, tapping Cole on the low ground, taking shots at Bartok Warrior. Bartok Warrior is hit. So is Tap. Yeah, I'm smoking this position. Cole gonna toss some smokes. Oh, looks like Tough forgot to go uh, semi. Yeah. It's actually not a bad little last stand. I'd rather take like shoot it out in these rocks in that fortress. Yeah, let's crawl west. Oh no, they've split up. Three embers to that M16. It's sort of how they they balance the uh, the M4 because it was pretty ridiculous that you could full auto hit fire that thing and and it not move it was pretty it was pretty pretty fun actually oh it was great it was great when it, when it while it lasted but uh you can't uh you can't rambo everything all the time gotcha yeah. it was just it needed just was, a little bit more a balancing balance. thing yeah which i mean you gotta you gotta you, think you gotta think over so is always sure thinking about that here or not So I'm trying to keep the names off as much as possible, but it really helps to see what's going on with the red team. As Tap and uh, Cole here reassault this building or reapproach this building, the militia have actually pulled away. They're all falling back, it looks like, to uh, regroup at their building. And that's that really puts the ball into Tap's court. Some and of them are just sitting Tap in the open. Down. Cole's going to shoot at them. Tap goes down. Um, long range fire. This guy, this guy Cole right here, he uh, he was in my basic squad about an about an hour ago. Last man standing from basic to last man standing. Oh, the headshot <laughs> destroyed. It it happens as a. Uh, he he made the best of it. The U.S. plan, as we were saying, was not bad. It was just missed. All right, gentlemen, excellent job last round. Today, however, we're turning the tables on the enemy. We have reports of enemy radio network operating in the mountains in Messia. They're using that radio network to increase and uh, encourage uh, an influx of fighters from around the region to this area, build strength, and try and plan operations. We are going to disrupt that effort by disabling and dismantling the radio network and killing any enemies we find in that area. To accomplish this, pretty simple plan. Squad 1, led by Salt, will take two MRAPs with 50 cals open top, directly west off alive to the two helmet markers in approximately Echo 7 and Delta 7. They will gain elevation and scout the enemy positions. We know that enemies are potentially located at the positions at Crucible, at the castle southwest of that, and the, the castle east of that. The majority of the platoon infantry, led by Blackbeard, Total War, and Miyamoto, will proceed west off alive and move to the LMG, Sniper, and Heavy Anti-Tank marker, respectively. While Assault Squad provides base of fire as the anchor in the south, we will move up and attack the position that we occupied in the last approximately 
Somebody mark that on the map. We have a say, uh, Bob Mark. Essentially, Echo 576. So, as you see on the map, we've got our three squads. We will form a, a line and push and thrust northwest toward that hab mark. Once we gain control of that area, hopefully that'll give us enough cover to get close to that castle, get control of that area, and then begin trying to attain fire superiority over Crucible and the position to the uh, northeast here on the castle. So, if we're able to seize that first castle and the radio's not there, the objective is to move north to Crucible and then bound over to the east and attack the, uh, the eastern FOB position. If we don't find it there, in all likelihood, the enemies uh, may have withdrawn it to quarry based on uh, intelligence we received. So we'll be pushing from south to north and clearing the enemies out. We have the Humvees, uh, the MRAPs rather, for uh, fire support in uh, Echo 7, Delta 7. If we seize control of the area in uh, Echo 5 and it is deemed prudent, we will move the MRAPs up for close fire support. Key here is going to be to bound under fire by fire teams as your squad you may even have to suppress uphill with your fire team while the other fire team bounds. So be prepared for that. Menu. We will take casualties as we approach. There's no question. However, our goal is to get close to that first castle, seize it, and then begin to take fire superiority over the enemy if the radio is not at that position. If we do seize the radio position, we will defend that area at all costs, and we should expect a strong enemy counter. Are there any questions about the plan or the order? Not hearing any questions, SLs, uh, go ahead and go over what you would like in detail, and let's get it for live. Good luck, guys. Good. Good. Nice lunchbox. And we go live. Yeah. Over here. I'll oh, wait for the trucks, but come cross over. Off the bat, U.S. platoon moving way. southwest. I'm out of the road. He's heading to their sort of rally location. And with the the the, oh the God, position the of the uh, the radio on Crucible, it really tells you if they're gonna stay or defend or defend or uh, fall back. If they put it on this this far back one, the the one that's closest to militia main, this really favors the the defense. Or well, the radio is supposed to be back. down by live. It is so down. if it's not there now, they're moving it. Yeah, the, the radio is down. Okay, it's on Crucible? Yeah, it is, it is on Crucible. They can't dig it down until the Logitruck gets there. Logitruck is oh, that's not right. here. Yeah, Logitruck is not here. The militia are actually spread out, like, looking like they want to hold the points. The whole Crucible? I'm not sure. I can't read this. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know what the the militia are doing. They're they're running all over the place. That's what for the intent is that they're not easy to be seen from the northwest. I think I might have seen someone skyline, but. From the uh, from the MRAP's uh, yeah, perspectives, the but there's not much we can do about it. it's just the way the map is structured and the objective. So red team movement, red one, red two moving southeast, looking like they're going on an right, intercept so path squads, an south of Crucible. Up. Command yeah, moving to reinforce guys, Crucible Point, and red four going far far north. That's a ten year flank if I've ever seen one. About well, it doesn't five, matter. Six hundred meters away from anybody. Squad. Uh, Militia squads one and two are basically moving directly where Fu wanted to send his infantry. This does not bode well for Fu if these guys can't get into position unspotted. And will they? Red 1 looks like they found their hill and they're getting posted up to look southeast. Red 2 going to continue moving past Red 1 a little further east. We'll see where they decide to move. You can put that thing in uh, 4 low. 
try to get up the hill, man. Oh. Blade J has nice. spotted these uh, MRAPs 100%. I mean, they're not being in inconspicuous. Yeah. Pretty I wonder if he spots both of them. them. Uh, I'm, I'm hanging over Clay J. I, I believe he does. Right, once we crash this ridge, uh, or he did. The He's lost. They got themselves a little spread uh, here. Down toward the, uh, the bridge. And then we'll spread out in Delta 6 and Echo 6. I wish there were outlines. They're climbing all over these rocks. Yeah, Clay J sees them. He's going to know what angle we're attacking on. That's okay. We're going to keep him busy. He's all of them. Because they're just sort of climbing over the rocks. Yeah, so far, uh, so far, no indication that U.S. has seen anything. Then again, these MRAPs haven't really stayed still that long. And with Clay J spotting us, you see immediate movement from Red Team as Red One is starting to move direct south. Actually, they were moving direct south. They stopped. Okay, yeah, they're moving direct south here to uh, reinforce Crucible. Well, one of the MRAPs I'm putting up. So they're going to hold Crucible. Is that the MRAP lighting up? Yeah. We can hear it. We can hear it. So they fixed one glitch, they, then they created another. Yes. I love it. We can hear it. This was my biggest gripe. Now I, I'd rather not have this sound if I can get outlines back. But I love it. I love it. It's funny. I have outlines turned on. I see all of them. Just the, just the three that are outside the vehicle. I don't know what it is. I wonder if it's a kit thing. Who down knows, left. man? Farther down left. And and having him this far back, guiding him in with with binoculars is actually a really good idea. Yep, that's good. Because that's a powerful combo. A, a 50 cal with binoculars. Yeah, that's powerful in our operation since nobody has optics. Our lines Ooh. back in three weeks. Don't don't tease me like that. Evan almost uh, got a haircut there. His MV taken. Uh, so pretty direct fire. Sprinting on the side of a rocky hill. Ankle bra breaking simulator. Yeah, right? They are making some good time over these rocky hills. Blue team is making some progress. Still moving west. They need to start trying to find a way north as their point man. Uh, who's on point for them? Who's on point for the full platoon here? Distraction. Is uh, starting to curve north. No kills so far on either side. Advisor of a buddy team at D five eight two. Engage. Copy this. And these enga this engagement range is insane. This is like max range engagement. These guys have no idea what they're seeing anymore. They're just shooting and they're following tracers. And Honestly, purple. Gun two. They're just seeing. They're seeing things on the horizon, on top of these hills. I think they're just hoping to see them. Someone got wounded. Gun two, you need to race your round. I've been trying to talk on uh, his gunner here. This base of fire by Pooh is actually really impressive. If they can maintain this, this is going to allow Blue Team to move up relatively unharmed as they start, they form up their line and they haven't even started to push north. But Red One's the only one in, in any kind of position to hold this point or hold this, hold this push off. And Red Four has gone so far north, they're off the map. Where are they? Red 4, I'm confused on their positioning at this point. There's 100% contact on that north. I guess they're watching Lodgy route, but they're in such a... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they can they do anything in this route. 
Rocket's flying. Nice clear Got comms it. from Fu. Pretty good comms all uh, this entire round. I'm paying attention this time. Making sure I have something to commentate, comment on that. Blue team has been really hesitant in their push. So, uh, even though assaults, base of fire is so powerful, I'm surprised with that. I, I, I think Fu would want to get his guys moving. They seem, they seem happier just shooting than, than actually pushing. I wonder how much longer... There's a lot of fire coming from Militia now. So Militia's actually started to return fire. Can they get the uh, superiority over the U.S.? U.S. Infantry pushing in now. People are getting tagged up for, for the militia. Dave and Patrick Starr having a bandage. Squad two, I want you to set up and it's and working. The U.S. just needs to move. They, the, the, the suppression is working 100%. They just, the U.S. need to take advantage of it. And, they, and it seems they are, it's just... With us being in the sky, I, I got to remind us, like, or me especially, like, they, they're working with limited information. We have God view. We can see both sides. We can hear all of one side. We can switch through all of them. Like, we have perfect information. And uh, they're not going to move as fast as we want them. Or as I want them. All said, uh, five deaths for militia. Five, well, US? five kills for the militia. One kill for the U.S. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are just respawns. Now they're, now they're, okay. Yeah. So militia up and kills just barely. Just some closer contact here. Uh, TYTY -TY and Bartok getting pretty close to some uh, enemy positions here. Frostbite actually have eyes on from way over there. Oh, TYTYC's sees I don't get shot in the the harv. The harv, another guy that just took basic today and is enough. Yeah, we lost half of our Bravo team. I'm putting the rest of Bravo up to me, and then we'll push from. I really like the hilltops that Red One decided to take on this southern flank. Unfortunately, it's just not enough people. If there was another squad here, if Squad 2 had, had committed to the southern uh, hold, I think they would have been to hold them off from, from these several hilltops, like this one that uh, I don't get shot in Bihar, and uh, Oddball and Frost are holding. Yeah, I mean, for what it is, it's a really effective line, but it's just not deep enough. Yeah. Although, it doesn't have to be deep enough, it just has to be... There just should be more people, you know, defending in the vector yeah, that needs to happen. It needs to be more reinforced, maybe. Another squad, maybe even a, a fire team, I think, extra would have held us. So far, they're doing fine. Four kills for the militia, two kills for the U.S. But they're going to get over one kills here soon if the U.S. can uh, get guided in a little bit. That's what Fu is trying to communicate in the background as we've been talking. They're trying to guide in mortar fire, I believe. They get mortars? They get mortars? Negative. Try to guide in MG fire. Yeah, no, mortars. Yeah, no mortars. No mortars. I won't mortar. I guess that's what it means. It's just, I won't mortar. <laughs> Frost goes down. Command be advised. Enemy contact Delta 569. Top of the waterfall. Delta 569. Copy. Copy. Delta 569. Storm has pushed up here. He's trying to get his element a little bit better position to move up. This is pretty safe over here. Yeah, but we have and, uh, This is a squad ops one life Watch event, soccer fest. Um, the US objective is to assault Crucible Hill and destroy militia propaganda equipment. And militia are trying to hold the hold off the US forces. 
Keep pushing this round, keep pushing this round. So Storm and Bartok Warrior pushing, I don't get shot. And uh, the Harv. Yeah, we're pretty fucked up over I there. think this, this should be a relatively West easy clear for Storm and Barca. Well, they eight, get spotted two, with a grenade. Yeah. Are they yeah. going to go down? Oh, it's too far. Okay. Understood. Don't go oh, look at this. Oh, I don't get shot in those. Oh, Storm is on the freaking hunt. Here it goes. Here comes Storm. Yep. And I don't get shot. Having a firefight. I don't get shot. Got shot. The Harv goes down to Ronin. And the hilltop is secured from the US. And they've got some momentum. What's the call here, Beacard? Push off the hill or uh, start a base of no, fire from you this have hill to, to hold the other? This. You have to hold this hill. You have to hold this hill and wait for more of your team to actually get a better position. Because right now they're just in the low ground or they're pushing up hills. You got to be able to support them. And you really can't if you're continuing to move. I feel like there's pe there's people that, you know, Blackbeard squad could be shooting right now. Yeah, I agree. Hold that hill, start a base of fire from there to support these guys. And so they secure another hill and then bound past them. Just, there's different ways to keep momentum. And... Blindingly charging into the low ground after securing some nice high ground is not one of them. Oh damn, this is all set up. Are you talking about our multicam? This is, uh, yeah, it's pretty neat, isn't it? Uh, D Dima Games. I mean, Stalker and Zeke over here, they're holding an entire squad plus back just by existing along this uh, rock base right here this includes command in this group for blue so so macro movement for the u.s they've got red four or excuse me blue four on their northwest blue three and blue two holding up the core They've got blue one in the background with their base of fire and two MRAPs. Red team, they've got red one, or excuse me, red red two as the wall. Red one is actually pushed off to the west towards fortification. They may start to, to see some flanks by a squad there. Red four finally off the hill in the north and is reinforcing red two on the point. Red three watching Bob proper. So, pretty concentrated on Cruise Pool. Luckily, Alpha has a foresight to pull a squad off onto fortifications to have somebody outside of the point, and uh, they, they, they're less likely to get completely encircled and just completely demolished. Oh, look at Red 1. Clay J is uh, taking some pot shots on uh, Blue 2 and 3 here. Oh, so they're not even trying to hide that they're out on the flank. No, they're engaging in range. Yeah, Blackbeard goes down from that long-range engagement. I like that. I, I, something can be said about holding your position or holding your fire and then coming in after they've committed. This, on the other hand, is very aggressive. Getting them on the back slope, making sure, hey, hey you're not even gonna get to peak the hill, kind of thing. You're not gonna get to be able to get set up to peak the hill. And I like this a lot. It's, it's. I'm a fa I favor the other one, but I, I can't. I don't hate this. This goal. I mean, I like the match itself. It looks nice. Realism is hard to get in the other servers. If you're interested in participate participating in these games, Demon, game, Demon Games, check us out at squadops.gg. All you have to do is sign up on that website, take our basic training course, only about 45 minutes to an hour long. They're a lot of fun. And then you can participate in any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. We stream the ones on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays as well as Friday and Sunday events, all on the website, squadops.gg. If you guys like what hey, you Dorf, saw, see, and, and want to give us a follow, push our TV forward slash squadops, we would really appreciate uh, it. We also upload okay. all of our videos onto YouTube, youtube.com forward slash squadops. So it seems like blue team is really stalled out. They, they, they were really aggressive getting up to the waterfall, 
which is like the the obstacle on the south side of Crucible, but they they're having trouble getting past it. Finding a safe way up the hill is the problem, and yeah. along with Clay J's little fire team here, uh, Mill is in a pretty good spot. Hey, come in. They just kept fortification. Although every it seems like every time these guys over here pop their heads up, they end up getting hit. Dave, I'm so bad. Were you in the op, Dave? I think I saw somebody that had a name similar to yours. Squad 3, let me know when your uh, unit is ready to move. Squad 2, I want you to leave fire team at your current position. I saw you die a, a little bit ago. Liberal Pundit goes down. Long range fire, I assume, from fortification? Okay. Yeah, definitely from fortification. Uh, Boo's getting into it now. He's trying to get his guys moving. I subscribe for these. I love to play, but I only play video games at the library. Um, yeah, mic is required to. Yeah, you gotta be able to hear. I assume you gotta be able to talk. Like, I don't know if that's a hard rule. I don't know what the rule is. You guys have like a mortar squad? Not on this operation. There are no mortars, but some operations have mortars. Some operations have BTRs. Each operation is different. Or. Uh, that have, have something unique about them. Our wonderful expert, who's doing the background camera movement today, is actually our mission designer. So if you have a, a an op idea, just message him. He loves hey, getting messages. Next to you, can build you don't all, he doesn't always them. use them, but uh, he'll he'll pick and choose what he likes out of an op. And some have made it through. Not a lot. Some made it through. Hmm. Storm Bartok. Long, long range cool. fire, Dave. Sorry. Good. Storm beat uh, Bartok and uh, Ronan pulled off that hill there. They were shooting up Fort Acacia. Now they've uh, regrouped with uh, more friendlies. And, yeah. Finish off this guy. Just used it. I just refilled from there. They've reconsolidated the li their line, and I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I like the idea. Reconsolidate the line. It's still really, it's exactly even game. Eight kills for the U.S. Eight kills for the militia. And uh, they need to keep up the pressure. They just need to start moving before they get circled in by that uh, fortification squad. How far ahead is training scheduled? I was only able to attend a Wednesday. I would only be able to attend a Wednesday training course. Um, they they're on the website, generally a couple weeks in advance. And if something doesn't work, they they're. they're you might be able to uh, get an impromptu course if you can get enough people together to do it Where on another time, but I'm not sure how that works anymore because it's been a hot minute since I've even talked about it. Yeah, I was going to say, impromptu training. I haven't seen one of those in... Yeah, in a long time because we, yeah. we run a lot of uh, basics now. Take a shot, take a shot. Pretty much every Saturday. Yeah, um, almost every Saturday, alternate Thursdays. I mean, if they're not running squad, sometimes they are running uh, postscriptum. Please do that now. So US have started their push. Finally, the aggression has kicked in. Garrett on point as they move up to their first fortress they need to uh, to take. And the friendly fire looks like it's going to hurt. Or the, the, the friendly suppression fire looks like it's going to hit friendlies more than it's actually going to help them assault this tower. They're getting pretty close to the tower, and the Humphies are putting some rounds up here that are that's suppressing what the militia is going to be able to do. Wait, to join this, I just joined Discord. Uh, you join our Discord, sign up on the website, and then take our basic training course. It's only about 45 minutes to an hour long, and then you can sign up on for, for any of our squad ops one life events. Post them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. As well as Friday and Sunday events, and then Thursday training training class. Where is it Tuesday yeah, now? I don't even know anymore. Mike, you get on me. Uh, Sot. Uh, Sot's yeah. on it's Thursday. Okay, it was on Tuesdays for a little bit. We won't run around for that, I guess. Where everyone goes down to frags as the U.S. start their frags on their fortress. Can they keep the aggression up? 
10 to 10, exactly even, of the second round of Operation Shockwave. It, you really can't understate what U.S. has actually been able to do. They had a squad almost completely wrap around the uh, Crucible building. And while it may not have 100% worked out for them, that volume of fire definitely scared some. There's definitely some casualties inside the Crucible building. I think there's only two left. There were like five in there. MRAPs have pulled off their hill, and they are now close range support, right in line with the U.S. Looks like command went down. Yeah. Command went down. Maybe a little too aggressive with his positioning. Not, not his position, but him himself. Maybe should have been a little further back just to maintain control because their comms were good. Let's hope they don't fall apart. I believe Phoenix is their second in command. He should be able to maintain uh, unit cohesion as they still have quite oh, a few militia to dig out. This MRAP's just moving right up. It's within 100 meters. Basically begging militia to shoot it with a rocket. I, I agree. <laughs> it's getting a little little aggressive, but you can respect it. They need they they're like, what's the neck what's gonna tip over this this fortress push for us? Let's bring in an MRAP. It's not it, it probably won't work, but alright. We'll see. I need to be in a squad with B car so he can hold my hand. You hear that B car? Okay. No, I don't hold hands. <laughs> Doesn't happen. You need to, you need to know what you're doing to be in B car squad. Yeah, because I'm not telling you what to do. Stop it. Stop. I'm just gonna yell at you and be like, "Hey, get over there and shoot things." Let's get an actual count of uh, this platoon, both platoons. See see who we have left. Wow, I didn't even realize there's an entire squad for Russia, or for militia, off the point. On fortification, yeah. That's ridiculous. Not on fortification. Wait. Look at it. Whatever this hill is. Oh, they've left fortification. Okay. I mean, on the hill on um, Fox 4, there's an entire squad plus command. Oh, okay, I see. On the other, the other side of... So having like, this, uh, having the command in this squad, squad uh, Red 4, on this northeastern crucible point is really going to cut off Blue 3's uh, attempted flank here. While, wow, they have perfect crossfire. Red 1 and Red 4 are in perfect positions to crossfire onto the downslope of crucible. And that's going to make it so, so difficult for them to make any progress on crucible proper. It, it basically guarantees they need to deal with one of those flanks before yeah. they can push in. Not the way I, I that they're that's pushing. The they have to push up the western part of the hill, and even then, they're just going to run across the uh, the top of the hill. They're going to get hit. I mean, it's really bad for U.S. right now. There's yeah, way really too turn. many positions. Oh, look at this thing. What the? What the? MRAP's moving in. MRAP just doesn't give a shit anymore. Oh, it just got shot right on the top it's gonna blow up it should blow up i think that was no, a frag it, rocket yeah didn't do any damage right there by the rock i think either that or at rockets do nothing against them wraps now sure Toast team up yeah, and dub still in this fortress building closest to, or crucible building, closest to the MRAP and the mass of U.S. troops. Holding out strong. 11 to 23 in militia's favor as that has swung drastically. Oh, Ronan gets... Phoenix telling him, don't do it now, no, 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 don't get in that gun. And he gets to just immediately one tapped his dubs, three fires onto the uh, the back of him. I mean, I think it's at this point you just attach C4 to the bonnet of the uh, to the bonnet of the MRAP and just drive it, and then leave it away and just explode it. I don't think it really is useful anymore. Yeah. 
They have a second one, but it's just gonna get shot. The the, the purpose was served earlier. That 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 fire superior superiority it was able to maintain from that south when it was on the end of the map, being guided in by binoculars. That was its speed. And um, yeah, Phoenix tried to get in the MRAP, gets baited, goes down. Unfortunate for him. He was it's covered about good. three different ways. It wasn't good. I think Evan's soloing his. And he'll go down soon. And he's trying to fire a fortification. <laughs> he's not even shooting at uh, Crucible. Yeah, he's not shooting at Crucible. He's shooting at fortification. Like, he's really upset at Clay J over there. You can really respect the, the, the positioning of the militia platoon at this point. Like, I really, like, their crossfire is just on point to watch all of Crucible, making it almost impossible to, uh, to assault. Like, what are the weaknesses with this crossfire? The south, I guess? Like, direct south? can't pronounce your name. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that was from... That was from, uh, Super... Yeah, or, from, uh, oh, that's new. Basic... I swear to God, I called him... Uh, I called him Bleach. Oh, yeah, I can see everything <laughs> now. It's Bloach. That's what it's supposed to be. I can see clear. I'm an SMA getting tagged up from cool. fortifications. Seven. Evan's gonna be able to bandage. He's abandoned his MRAP. No need for it anymore. He's got outline, so I'm gonna hang out with him. This is not good. Squad three is the only organized element remaining for uh for US here. Evan SMA goes down. Oh no, they start what getting toward up. Paul yeah, Dwarf left side goes oh, down yeah, to MG fire from Atomic. And we're down to three. We're down to two. Mm, still three. But still no three? Four. Oh, we were at four, we're down to three. Down to, down to two. Head Busta and Garrett, last two remaining. Clutch your kick, Garrett. Garrett's last one remaining. He's just Ride getting rockets just now. shredded. Rockets going at him. MG, there's smokes all over the place. You know, if there was an emote to salute, I would just stand up and salute at this point. Still not hit yet. Yeah, he's, he's making progress. Nope, oh, there he goes. There he, gets go. he got pinged. Wow, these, uh... Wow. Toast him up and okay. go down? Oh no, he, he went down the stairs. He went down the stairs, because he's going to run out this guy. Meanwhile... Garrett's got Garrett having to advantage himself. Yeah, he got shot, but... There oh. we go. Nice try, Garrett. In the end, 14 kills for the U.S., 35 for the militia. That crossfire on the separate three-hill three, three hill hold was just perfect for them, and it definitely made it...